what is happening everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how did I create the shot that you see right now on the screen using Fayen. Now before we get into the actual tutorial, let me talk to you guys a little bit about the shot first. Now the reason why I selected this video for some people is because it has a few problems that would make anyone's tracking work a little difficult. Namely, there is this lens zoom in at the start. And then awesome people, there is this head movement which would be quite difficult to track. Now once we start working with Feyen, you'll realize that all of these problems are going to be taken care of by the plugin and the process of creating the shot is going to be quite simple and straightforward. So the main thing to take from this video is to understand how do you deal with multiple digital assets when you're connecting all of them to just one track point. I'm going to show you a few trips and tricks that I like to remember when I'm working on those shots and I'm in these situations. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get to it. Now here is another example of what you can do with the same thing. So there's a little bit of tint added and the cinematicness, the letterboxing has been removed. So uh, 16 by 9 and uh, cinematic shot right here. So I hope you understand what you're going to be doing and let's get to it. So I'm going to go to my main project, select the video, effect, Faytech and Feyen. Now once you do that, you'll see that there is an update in your Feyen panel. Click on your main project name, add track and now awesome people, I'm going to go to the first frame because that's how I like to work. I like to always start my track from the first frame. I'm going to take the rectangle region tracker and I'm going to basically draw a rectangle around a fade. Now, Fatech recommends using the mask region tracker in such cases, but in this video's case, the rectangle region tracker works pretty good too. Just uh, squeeze it to her face. This awesome people is gonna interrupt because, uh, at least in my case, it's gonna be a little problematic because there's a lot of fur around her. I'm gonna extend this a little bit. And what I'm trying to do here, awesome people, is I'm trying to create a perspective grid and I'm trying to create this line. I'm trying to match this line according to that grid. So if you were to say draw a line onto her face, you'll see that the line sort of runs like this. So I'm trying to do the same thing. Now again, Fatek recommends using the mask region tracker in such cases, but in this video's case, the rectangle region tracker works pretty good too. And awesome people, some of you may think that because there is head movement, we may select the dynamic area, which is usually used for moving targets. And Fatek recommends choosing the dynamic option in any cases where an object is moving, but in this case, because she is just staying in one location, I'm gonna take the static area. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click on start. Now as soon as you do that awesome people, you'll see that the tracking is started. I'm going to speed up the video a little bit and I'm going to talk again when this is done. Welcome back everyone. The tracking has been completed and uh, the way I like to work is that once tracking is done, I like to click on this active button to get a report on how the track is in the shot. So as you can see, in this case, the depth is okay, but we need to check the orientation in X, Y and Z. Now orientation for anyone who didn't know is basically rotation. Now in my opinion awesome people, rotation in Feyen can be fixed quite easily. Uh, make sure awesome people that you're working in the base grid and not in the virtual grid. And once you're here, you can click on this rotation tool and you'll get the gizmo over here. So using this gizmo awesome people, you can fix the rotation of your track. So we can fix the Z, X and Y, right? You can do all of that. And awesome people, what I would say is click this, uh, click the active button, keep the track active and sort of scrub through a timeline to see how the tracking is ready. So as you can see awesome people, the tracking is quite nicely done. But in my opinion awesome people, I would be, uh, what I would say is, I, would, I actually know what the problem is, but the way I like to work is I actually like to replace this solid layer with something so I get a proper idea if the tracking is working for the shot or no. So solids are good but they won't give you that final effect so I'm going to replace the solid by right clicking this exchange and search footage and also people I would like to say that I'm working with some MOV files over here but if you're creating original graphics for an ad film or for a short film or any project you can replace this with uh, pre-compositions as well in my case i'm just using moe files but this is going to work perfectly with uh, graphic files jpegs pngs or any of those files so coming back to composition right click and i'm going to replace this with target one click yes for the ratio and you'll see awesome people that actually let me just apply the glow effect for you guys to see this a little bit better. 
I'm gonna take the glow effect and apply it to target one and one more thing I would like to pull your attention to is that you can apply effects after this fade in effect has been applied so this uh, you know applying blur effects glow effects any sort of effects won't affect fade in all right and you'll see awesome people that the eyes are looking a little up and uh, the, uh, the rotation of this layer is not right so and this is one thing awesome people that I think you may get confused in is that you guys would click on target one and you guys would be saying that where is the rotation tool where is that gizmo once again I cannot get that gizmo well the problem is that you're clicking on the wrong layer click on the video file where you tracked Feyen okay and there awesome people is gonna be your gizmo so select that gizmo once again and you're gonna fix the rotation like this like this awesome people and we can also move this move our track in different axes so click on the translation tool and you can see I can move it like this and just place it properly where I feel that this really looks good right so awesome people uh, think of it like this if you want to make any changes in the track you want to rotate your track you want to move the position of your uh, track grid uh, you select the video file now once you have replaced your track where you have replaced that solid layer and you want to reduce the scale or you want to move the position of one single digital asset in this case the target one MOV file you can have to select the target one MOV file and there's gonna be a fade effect in there so if we if you want to shrink this uh, target file you can click on the scale option and I'm gonna dial in 0 0.15 0 0.15 hit enter and you can see awesome people that this has been fused right so that is how you work now awesome people uh, instead of uh, if you want to add more uh, data or more things to your shot instead of tracking the full thing again you can use a track one and you can just uh, you know add more digital assets based on this one track so i'm going to right click on this once again make sure awesome people that you're not clicking target one okay if you do this you're going to be replacing this file we don't want that you want to add on top of it so track one right click add insert and i'm going to take radar and i'm going to apply the glow effect on this layer as well so you guys see this a little bit better and you'll see awesome people that the uh, rotation over here is a little off i think the z rotation is a little off so again if i want to fix my track i'm going to select my video file rotation tool z and i'm gonna rotate it like this right and then awesome people there you go i think this is a lot better and this has been tracked in beautifully so this is really good Next awesome people, I would like to add in one more layer and you can keep on doing this awesome people. So add insert and I'm going to take infographic. Yes. And you'll see awesome people that moving things around once you have tracked them in your shot is very, very easy with Feyen. So I'm going to apply glow effect. Take the effect you guys see again. And you can see that I have selected my graph, your uh, infographic to click on Feyen and then awesome people, you can just move this around right and your tracking won't be affected at all so you know, position it like this you can also scale your graphic down without actually uh, dialing things over here now scale this down place it over here and also be able if I was to kind of scrub through my timeline you can see that everything is perfect so this is how you work with Faye and Awesome People for tracking your shots and for creating some nice hood element shots. Now uh, what I would say is if you want to add color to your uh, hood elements you can go over here to FX and presets and type in tint. Apply this to one of the layers. I'm just going to do this once. And uh, again Awesome People if when you are doing this you'll see that the track or the fade effect is not getting affected at all. And awesome people, if you want to finish the effect by adding a little cinematicness, you can of course do color correction on top of this. I'm not going to get into that, but for adding the bars over here, you can create a new solid, name this boxing, hit the S key for scale, break this link, type this 80, and change the uh, blend mode to stencil alpha, and you have this. So this is how I created uh, my uh, 3D hood element shot in Adobe After Effects using Faye and Awesome People. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like this video on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to my channel Zenjun Learning and I will see you all next time.